going to go ahead and this time we're going to stand up. Okay, so if you can just go back. I don't know if you can see me, so I apologize for my chair. So if you can stand up. Okay, and we're just going to call this, um, this is half moon. And what you're going to do is you're going to stand up nice and tall. It gives you out of your chair. And I highly recommend doing this every hour between your classes. And it can even be 30 seconds if you are teaching remotely. Um, I don't know what your remote schedule looks like. But for my girls, if they're remote, they're on back-to-back -back Zooms all the time. And so um, it just to get yourself out of your chair. Okay. So you're going to take your left hand is just going to stay on your left leg. Your feet are about shoulder width apart. Uh, don't lock your knees. You can just do a nice little bend, right? Don't, don't lock your knees because you don't want it to, to hurt anything. You're going to take your right arm and then you're going to go up and inhale. Okay. And then you're going to just go half and bend. And you're going to slide your left hand down your leg and you're going to feel a nice stretch on your side here. The reason why this is really important and you're going to inhale back to center. And go down. Okay. You're going to inhale up. Exhale down to the side. You feel a nice stretch. Inhale up to center. And exhale down. Okay, inhale up. Exhale, slide down like a half moon or a crescent. You can inhale up and exhale down. One last time. Inhale up and exhale, slide like a crescent. Inhale up. And exhale down. And you're going to notice that we're moving with our breath and our body to try and coordinate. Because what you're trying to do is train your body to be um, in sync with the breath and the movement. The other thing to remember for your 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 uh, breathing and your motor activity is that when you start to um, – what it does is it activates different parts. We find ourselves when we're stressed and have anxiety, we tend to close everything in. That's where you're feeling all of the stress on your shoulders, your neck, you know, if you're calculating things this way. But every time we're stressed, we actually get uh, insular and get closed in. And so one of the things that we try to do is actually stretch you out. And every time you inhale, inhale on the big movements and exhale on the ones that close you in. So that'll kind of help you remember the coordinated breath.